The truth is, if you've got two legs and you can go above a slow shamble, you'll be able to stay out the Zom's way. Am I right? Oh, the tales I could tell you. Of the doors that I fell through. Such places I have seen. Welcome to the pub, welcome to my world. I'm Said Quest Publications, and this is my first impression of Zombies Run. Zombies Run is an odd sort of app that, given recent trends, could probably be referred to as extratainment, always assuming there isn't already a word out there to describe it. It is a game, story, and fitness tracker all rolled into one. From the fitness tracker standpoint, the game and story are fairly simple to follow. The world is overrun by a plague of zombies. And the town of Abel requires runners who can go out into the world and evade those zombies. You, as Runner 5, need to collect supplies, food, rescue survivors, basically anything Abel needs in order to function and to protect its people. And hopefully one day to go out and put an end to the plague of zombies, as well as any other missions you might need to take on. In terms of gameplay, there's the main storyline, played chapter by chapter, then you will need to either be a pro member to download these all at once, or access new chapters, typically on a weekly basis if you're a free player, or by doing side quests to collect other supplies. And as a story, well, you're going to have to play the game to see how the story goes. Non-runners out there, don't let the name fool you. You do not need to run to play this game. The truth is, if you've got two legs and you can go above a slow shamble, you'll be able to stay out the Zom's way. Am I right? Good to know. If I had to run to complete any missions, I'd have been zombified a long time ago. Someday, maybe, but right now I just don't have the stamina, especially when many of these missions uh, last for a mile or, or further. And some people just don't enjoy running. If you can move about on your feet, or exercise in general, then you can use this app. It works for a wide variety of fitness levels. Your tracking options, for instance, can be adjusted to use GPS if you're outside, a step counter, which is ideal for machines such as treadmills, or the constant speed option, suitable for any exercise machine that isn't likely to pick up either of the first two, or even if you don't have a smartphone and you're running the app from a tablet. Likewise, if your stamina is such that you simply cannot manage any real bursts of speed, or if you're on a treadmill and find it a pain in the ass to change speed on the fly, you can also turn chases off. They'll still be mentioned within the narrative if the story calls for them, but they won't ever affect your gameplay. Although, for some of us, turning off the zombie chases risks taking us out of the story. Where's the urgency if there's no zombies to evade? But given that it was a choice between that or to limit the app to those of us who are fit enough to run, I'd call that an acceptable risk. Speaking of being dragged out of the story, there's also the matter of the soundtrack, as in, this app doesn't have one. It is entirely up to you, Runner 5, to decide what music to play between bits of the story. Even if you play a chapter long enough to access Abel's own radio station, the music still comes from your choices and yours alone. Depending on your taste in music, this can result in some very story-appropriate songs, or a contrast that is nothing short of bizarre. Case in point... No. It's time to save the world. Not necessarily a good zombie theme song, but not bad for starting out on an important quest. On the other hand... They're following you, Runner 5. The swarm from the car park, they're following you now. <laughs> Run! not so much. But the point of the playlist is to give you something to listen to between bits of story, and to track, should you be moving at a varying pace, which songs correlate to your best speed. So ultimately, what you listen to is up to you. Finally, we have my one nitpick that is not up to Runner 5. There is, in fact, only one thing that takes me out of the story that I would like the app to change, and that's the way the very first part of the narration is set up. Follow my own path to see what I mean. Start moving now. Choose your own path. We won't ever ask you to change direction. We'll deal with the rest later. Right now, let's get going. Abel Township's just on the horizon. See it now? Not much more than a few fences to keep the zombies out. I don't know how they live like that. Guess they won't be living like that much longer. 
Able Township, Jolly Alpha 5-9er from Mullins Military Base. We're five miles out, approaching from the east, bringing med supplies, shelters, and loan of one of our people. Able Township, Jolly Alpha 5-9er requesting permission to land. Got that. Uh, I, I mean, roger that. You're clear to... Yeah, you can, you can come on in. Roger, Abel. Heading down now. Level with me. You and me both know we haven't got half of the usual supplies. We've lied to the township. Yeah, I know. You don't know anything. Someone at Abel is going to come up to you and say, I'm here to brief you on Project Green Shoot, and then you'll find out what your mission really is. I just... What the... Someone's shooting. That's not from the township. Who the hell has a rocket launcher in this thing? We're hit. I've lost the tail rotor. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Jolly Alpha 5 9 are going down. Three miles east of Able Township. Two souls on board. This is Able Township calling. Supply copter, can you hear us? You're coming down fast. Can any of you hear us? Open your chutes. Jump! Township calling, over. If there's anyone alive, if you've got your parachute open, this is Sam Yao from Able Township. Oh, I'm just a, I'm just a radio operator, man. I'm not supposed to handle this stuff. You've come down in a horde of zombies. They've heard the noise. They're coming. There are 30, no, 40. Oh, crap. Your only safe path is towards the tower. If there's anyone alive there, just run! Run! The actual distance varies according to my speed on a given outing and the weather conditions influencing that speed. But we're still talking about a significant gap between when the game first tells me to begin moving and when the story tells me to begin moving. Well, I could, if I so chose, ignore the game's initial instruction and wait until the story has me on my feet to start walking. The fact remains that this particular discrepancy exists on the app's end, not in how I choose to use it. All in all, the zombie element puts this app a little outside of my usual fare. But for an exercise app, it has been entertaining so far, and I look forward to learning more of the story as I go. And maybe, one day, being able to run as Runner 5 should. If you'd like to follow my progress with this and other such apps, then please toss a like or a subscription my way. That's all the time I have for now. The pub is now closed, and I hope I'll see you again. Bye.